their public transportation there is kind of interesting. Only in the capital do they have buses, and um, there's not very many. There's a lot of taxis, and then the most popular way of travel is um, what they call a yas. It's actually a Toyota vehicle. It's like a big 15-passenger van, but um, I think that's a little bit of an understatement because they'll usually like paint it. They'll put big rims on it. They'll get it to be like real. I don't know how you could describe it. Just like real done up and they'll have fun lights on there and loud music blasting out of the car and that's the public transportation so you can pay like two dollars or three dollars and they'll take you about 45 minutes away it's like the distance of the trip or an hour things like that but they won't they won't leave until the car is full and by full I mean like way more than 15 people they will they'll do laps around this around the city and they'll have someone driving the car and they'll have someone like at the side of the car and they'll be yelling the city they're going to go to so um they could be yelling like asomada asomada because that's a, a popular place that they would travel to and so that anyone on walking on the street who would know uh oh they're going to asomada they can like get in that in that car but if you get in and there's only like two or three people in there, you could be like doing laps around the city for another half an hour or an hour. So you always want to try and get in a yacht that was really full, but the drivers are also very, very um, insistent on you getting in their car because they wanted people to get in so that they could fill it up and leave and have more time to do more trips. And yeah, they're always like, they know we're missionaries. So they're like, they'll yell, oh, I touched my mic, I'm sorry. Um, they'll yell, sisters, sisters. And they'll try and get us to, to go in there because especially we'd be traveling in groups of two or four, things like that. And they, yeah, very, very insistent. If you don't want to get in that yacht, you have to hold your ground and say, no, I'm like, I'm not getting in. I, I'm going to a different location, things like that. So um, the yacht experiences were always great. And then usually packed in there, like I said, way more than 15 people, 20, 23. I had a lot of experiences like that. A lot of times people will have goods with them, whether it's fruit or materials. Sometimes there'll be chickens. Sometimes you'll have a goat that's like stuffed under one of the seats. Um, it's a little wild. It's it's pretty great. And then loud, loud funana, which is like Cabo Verdean music, just like blasting in their car. And so, yeah, yasas are fun.